When I hear people say, oh, we, we need change now, there's too much homelessness, there's not enough social housing, pays too low, which it is for the average guy and gal in the street, this national minimum wage that Osborne brought in was a facade to hide the need for a real minimum wage. But we put up with it. We've got bombs raining down on Syria. You've seen the, the, the children that have been injured and killed in Aleppo. But it's on the news. It doesn't really affect us, does it? You know, um, don't want to change that badly. Otherwise, we do something about it. But we can't, can we? We tried voting. We voted Tory. We got people who attacked sovereign states and sent our soldiers to die where they had no real need to be. And then we voted Labour. And uh, funny enough, they uh, they went to war with sovereign states and sent our soldiers to places. We have no need to be, we no need to die. And social housing? Tories done nothing really. Labour before them? No, nothing really. Before that, of course, the Tories sold off much of the stock, social housing stock, which I, I had mixed feelings about. Um, the right to buy scheme was good if you were going to replace the stock that they sold off which of course they didn't and I think a lot of MPs and a lot of people in, uh, in house building um, companies did uh, very well out of all this because the house building did take place was, was private and they got people on the first rung of the housing ladder so they could then get them on to the, to the next rung before, before the big recession. So, how do we change it? MPs don't really care. There's some good ones, obviously. I'm, I'm being very broad in my generalisation. But most of them are career politicians who don't really care about you and me, apart from once every four or five years when they need our vote. They spin us a load of lies and then backtrack on everything they've, uh, they've said over the next five years until they need us again when we get more lies. Now, Voting isn't going to change that. I get people saying, oh, that nice Mr. Corbyn. Yeah, he probably is. He probably is a really, really nice bloke. But the trouble is, just like that really nice Mr. Obama, you won't be able to achieve anything. I think the Labour leadership elections have shown, have shown that uh, the, the, the psychopaths around him won't allow that change. They won't vote with him. And they'll they'll vote Tory if necessary. They'll vote with the Tories if necessary in Parliament, um, just to show how weak he is. So strong guy, uh, principled man. I actually like a lot of what he says. Not everything, but a lot of what he says. No point voting for him. You know, um, if he gets in, Labour marginally probably better than the Tories. Nothing's going to change. So how do we change it? I listen to a lot of people, David Icke, telling us all what's wrong. Got a lot of time for David Icke, don't agree obviously with everything he says. But certainly with the economy and that sort of thing and, and what's going on behind it. Yeah, a lot of good points. Listen to loads of different commentators from all different fields, left wing, right wing, whatever, I listen to it. And I honestly believe that the only way to change is to hit these psychopaths in their pockets. And the only way we could do that is by really cutting down on our spending for a start off. Go without the upgrade to PlayStation. Go without the update of your, upgrade of your mobile for an extra year. And if that doesn't work, go on strike for a month. Don't go to work. Don't pay your bills. Obviously, we'll need some doctors and nurses and that sort of thing. But other than that, just buy the food we need. The three quarters of retail workers strike. There's still a quarter that can, that can service your emergency needs. 
And as in 2000, which is the only time I can ever think of the government backtracking, we get the truckers just to park their vehicles outside the oil refineries. And they stay there until such times as hospitals start running out of emergency fuel to feed the generators. Now, I know people are going to say, oh, he's mad, he's this, he's an anarchist, this, that and the other. It's the only way. It is the only way. These people are greed-fueled psychopaths. So the only way you're going to hit them is in the pocket. There we go. You wanted to know how we do it? That's how we do it. Who's the first one to go and try it? Not going to happen, is it? So let's not bother going on social media. Let's not bother moaning about the EU. EU, European psychopaths. Not really doing anything for you. I voted for Brexit and got hammered. Absolutely hammered. I voted because I didn't want TTIP, which I thought would have been the death knell of of the uh, National um, Health Service and, uh, and and small business, small businesses basically, large business would have just trod all over them, you'd have to read it up yourself. But yeah, no matter what level of government you're looking at, Scottish independence doesn't really matter. You've got psychopaths in the SNP, you've got psychopaths in the Scottish Conservative Party and likewise in Labour. When they get in a position of power, they get greedy and they have to they have to sell out to the large corporations. Voting doesn't matter. Doesn't matter who wins, doesn't matter who loses. Look in America just now. Trump. Horrible, horrible man. Racist, no doubt. Um horrible man. But what was the what was the difference between him and Clinton? Horrible woman, horrible woman, warmonger, and uh, definitely shady. Not someone you trust. Not someone you buy a car off or you'd let babysit your goldfish. So why be president of the United States? We haven't got a choice. America needs to do the same as us, and we need to. Uh, all get together and take some positive, non-violent action. Hit them in the pocket. That's all from me. Bye.